Welcome to your most trusted This week, SpaceX launched the final Iridium satellite package into orbit, completing the firm's $3 billion refurbishment of their satellite system. Iridium used SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket to replace their 75-strong satellite system, which has the original function of allowing calls from anywhere on the planet, but these new satellites will bring new capabilities, such as monitoring the movement of planes. The UK's National Air Traffic Services and Canada's NAV Canada say they will use this new feature to help plan new routes across the North Atlantic. In other news, CERN, the European organiser of nuclear research and the people behind the Large Hadron Collider, have published their plans for a successor to the LHC, called the Future Circular Collider. The FCC is estimated to cost £20 billion, and this would be 10 times as powerful and 4 times larger than the current LHC. CERN are already testing technology that would be needed to run at the FCC's far higher energies, but the FCC itself has no solid date plan, and there is speculation as to whether it will or should go ahead at all. In paleontology news, there's been a recent study looking at the diet of prehistoric predatory whale Basilosaurus. Despite being a pretty well-known member of the Archaeocetes, this is the first direct evidence of the animal's diet, and it provides some very interesting insight into how the whale behaved. The preserved stomach contents found within the Basilosaurus skeletal material include bones from a large fish, as well as the young of another species of an ancient whale that lived at the same time, Dorodon. This confirms that Basilosaurus, being the apex predator of the area, certainly would have preyed on other smaller whales, giving paleontologists a better idea of its paleoecology. The researchers also say that apex predator whales, such as Basilosaurus, Liviatan, and Orca deserve more attention than they've had in the past. Also from the world of paleontology, a study has been published that examined a Middle Triassic fossil deposit in the Netherlands, revealing it to be an area of very unique preservation. The deposit has supplied a wealth of skeletons in the past, though they range a great deal in the quality of fossilisation. The study found that the taphonomy of the area is very complex, and the reason for the variation is the dependence on factors such as the autonomy of preserved organisms, the activity of microbes, and the action of currents. Thank you very much for listening to this week's 7 Days of Science. We do hope you enjoy it, and we apologise for the short nature of this week's and last week's. We're very busy at the moment, but that's all about to end. So I look forward to 7 Days of Science next week, and until then, we'll see you on Sunday.